I've never been that far into the swamp, but if I was to live here, I would look for a drier place. Protect me in this battle! Your armor is falling apart. Yeah. 
a cavern. Hermits often choose places like this when they want to live away from the world. If St. Matthias did come here, this is where he must have settled. Let's take a closer look at these paintings. We may learn something from them. This mural is very ancient. It depicts an old man dressed as a priest getting his face painted by a masked native. This mural depicts an old man praying in front of a face in the mountain. He's holding a rosary. Saint Matthias, praying to Enon Miel Frictiman. I don't know these glyphs, but these spirals are native symbols. There are some words in our ancient language next to them. The light and the earth are the two faces of the same power. It's impossible to know if this is a translation or another sentence. But this is a message that would seriously displease the Inquisitors. I cannot believe it. These symbols... They are signs used in the secret writing of the Donegada. Engraved tablets. They resemble the ones we recovered in Eden. We should take them with us. The researchers would be delighted to study them. There are some native symbols here, and some letters I recognize. As if someone had tried to write in the native language using our alphabet. Men dad, enon mil frictiman. It means, welcome us amongst your people, enon mil frictiman. This is incredible. Saint Matthias would have known about the spirit of the island and would have prayed to him. The 
looks like a chaplet made of pewter. It's rather basic, but it was made a long time ago. And it undeniably comes from the continent. This is incredible. Saint Matthias is often depicted or described as using a similar chaplet. Oh, I feel so lucky to be here. In this cavern where our founder lived. I don't know if you realize the importance of what we've just discovered. Saint Matthias, the founder of Teleme, finished his life worshipping the Islander's God. This is so incredible. Although it will cause a huge upset for our nation, our cult, and our relations with the natives. I wonder what I should do with these relics. Eugenia probably didn't imagine that Saint Matthias lived his life in a way that's so different from what they advocate. As for Virgil, he wasn't wrong. Such a revelation will certainly cause a schism in Teleme. I understand you must be concerned. Great revelations are often followed by a trail of blood. But if what we found was revealed, my people could live in peace with the priests at last. I already took sides in their quarrel. If I change my mind, I'm afraid that it might be seen as treason. I'll think about it on the way there. Let's go back to the researchers' camp. So, did you find anything? Or do you need my help? We discovered a cave that was inhabited a long time ago by a whole group of people, mostly natives, who had obviously created a sacred site, as the place was guarded by a creature. And have you found traces of our holy founder? New relics? Perhaps some tablets? Also frescoes on the site, representing Saint Matthias. Frescoes? Tell me more. This is fascinating. He was shown having his face painted by a native. On the other, he prayed to a god of the mountain. You... you can't be serious. You mean to say that our saint converted to the cult of the islanders? That is what emerges from our findings, yes. Other objects that I was able to bring back also point in this direction. Look. There are inscriptions, these tablets, and also this chaplet. This chaplet? I cannot believe it. It is so... Excuse me. I cannot find the words to express how I feel. You must come with me. We must go and present all these discoveries to the Mother Cardinal. You realize our entire dogma will have to change so far. Anyone who wanted to question it would have burned their fingers. Literally, alas. And you think that this time they'll listen? We have solid proof. All this evidence. 
With your support, we will convince her to reveal the truth. I see. I will do my best to help you. It seems we are arriving right on time. You did well to warn us, Brother Virgil. Virgil? How did you know? I'm afraid that Your Excellency's lies weren't very convincing. We were informed of your discoveries and of the danger they represent. We demand that you hand them over to us immediately so that they can be destroyed. How can you even suggest the destruction of relics written by the hand of our founder? Out of love for our dogma, for our faith, and for our nation. But since you refuse to comply with our orders, you leave us no choice. Death to the heretics! Maybe a mercy protect me in this battle! I cannot believe that I just fought my own brothers in faith. The fact that the Inquisition is after us is very disturbing, Excellency. We would do well to hasten to San Mateus. They will not dare to attack you there. And we will have to take care of Bishop Domitius. He will do everything he can to discredit us. You are right. All this proves is that I will not succeed without your help. There is a risk that the Mother Cardinal will also reject our discoveries. And if you will allow me to attend the hearing, I would be delighted to support you. Your help will be precious to us, Father. In any case, we must present our research to Mother Cardinal as soon as possible. I will study the tablets one last time to make sure I know all their content. And I will meet you at the palace in San Mateus to plead our case. Understood. See you soon, Sister Eugenia. Be careful.
Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sarde, what can I do for I have come to inform you of the existence of a secret camp created by the Inquisitors of the Ordo Luminous. From what we know, they abduct natives and take them there to torture them and convert them by force. And those who refuse to renounce their faith, despite their suffering, are shot in cold blood. What? Where did you hear such things? From the natives themselves, Mother Cardinal. But surely Bishop Demetius will be able to tell us more about it. This is nothing but a web of lies that those pagan natives invented to harm us, your eminence. There's nothing here that could... Enough, Demetrius. If the natives are complaining to the congregation about the exactions of the Inquisition, it is our duty to intervene. In that case, we should act fast, your eminence. Because one of these native clans is getting ready for an assault. They managed to find the camp and are gathering their troops. I implore you to dissuade them, your excellency. It is our duty to fix this situation. I wouldn't want the natives to think that we were letting them suffer without doing anything. Since you seem to know all the details of this matter, will you agree to lead my troops? You want me to lead the offensive on this bastion of the Inquisition? Yes. Of course, you would be leading a troop of guards which I will immediately put at your disposal. Go to the barracks and show this mandate to the quartermaster. He will ensure that you are provided with the men you need. As for me, I pray the Enlightened will guide you in this terrible task. Domitius, if I find out you had anything to do with this, you will pay for it with your life. What can I do for you? Here. The Mother Cardinal gave me this mandate for you to supply me with some troops. Everything looks perfectly in order. May I ask you what this is about? Some members of the Order Luminous built a camp to convert the natives by force. Her Eminence wishes to put an end to what could lead to a war between Teleme and the natives. I see. Oh, it was high time someone put an end to the dangerous zealousness of these Inquisitors. I will order the men I have here to assemble in the courtyard. Do not worry. I will send you my best. I just need to explain the mission to them, and they'll be on their way. Uh... Soldiers, the Mother Cardinal is sending you to fight under the orders of His Excellency de Sade. You will have to put an end to the crimes committed by the Inquisition in a nearby fort. I expect you to obey the orders of His Excellency without question. For Teleme! For the guard! Fight with honor! Comrades, pack your bags. We're leaving at once. Fight with honor! 
for the coin and the enlightened. We're almost at the camp of the Solasser. Should we wait here for the moon to rise? Yes, let's. Our men are ready, Your Excellency. They're awaiting your orders. Perfect. Our objective is located beyond this cliff. The Inquisitors are not expecting us. We have the element of surprise. Let's make good use of it. Understood, Your Excellency. We'll be discreet. Let's find a vantage point to get a better overview of this fort. So, this is the place where the Ordo Luminous stain their hands with blood. 
May they be struck by the Enlightened. There's no turning back. I hope that you're all ready. Most of their troops seem to be outside, as if they sense we are coming. The prisoners are most likely inside, in some basement perhaps. And it seems as if there are some in the right wing as well. Most of the fighting will take place outside. The priests are at a disadvantage in confined spaces. We must strike quickly if we want to make good use of the element of surprise. What are your orders, Your Excellency? We are behind the camp where there are fewer guards. Getting inside will prove less troublesome from this side. We will conduct two near simultaneous assaults. The first larger group will attack from the front to cause chaos in the enemy ranks. As for me, my companions and I will get inside the building from the back and sneak into the basement. We will set as many prisoners free as we can and use the opportunity to search the building. Once you have eliminated the troops in front of the building, focus on the right wing. At your orders. Should we keep a few men here to catch any potential runners? Indeed. An excellent suggestion. Are you ready for the assault? We're ready, Your Excellency. In that case, conduct the assault as soon as you're in position. the prisoners before the Inquisitors kill them all. keys to these cells. Wait here for now. We're still fighting outside. Let's 
Protect me in the temple! May the shadow engulf our enemies! I think that was the last of the Inquisitors. The fort is safe now. We're done here. Let's lend a hand to our allies outside, as there are still some prisoners there. Prisoners have been dead for days. 
There's no one left to set free. Let's get out of here. How did the battle go for you? Your plan was successful, Your Excellency. We won a resounding victory. Congratulations. And we were able to set the prisoners free. They were completely exhausted, but alive. I would like for you to escort them to the closest village. At your command, Your Excellency. Once this is done, you can return to your garrison. And do not worry. The Mother Cardinal will be informed of your valor in combat. Ah, Your Excellency. We were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder. It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but, on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed be a falsification? The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There is no islander village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings, but clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardaik. These guardians usually protect sacred places and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast, which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He is depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are. But their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the Enlightened. 
He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. The relics could be authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism, civil war, and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? It seems that you only see the negative aspects of this discovery, but the reality is very different. By integrating some of the natives' beliefs into your dogma, you could build an alliance with them, something no other nation has managed to achieve before. It is a good argument, Your Excellency. I hadn't thought about that. Your Eminence, all of this is grotesque and dangerous. The congregation is clearly trying to ridicule us. Even if these frescoes are real and old, who's to say they represent reality? This is surely the naive vision that the islanders had of our founder, nothing more. Our duty is to bury all this in order to preserve our nation from the heretical beliefs of the savages. You were so eager to bury our discoveries that you were ready to bury us with them. A group of the Order Luminous attacked us while we prepared to come here. Really? Your Eminence, I assure you that I had no idea we would never harm a diplomat. It was probably the desperate action of an overly fervent group. But, alas, it is a fair reflection of what will happen if these discoveries... You are responsible for the members of the Ordo Luminous. I am counting on you to ensure... Your Eminence, we are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What he prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. You surprise me, Petrus. Yet your words seem sincere. You give me... If my people knew that the great sage they had long respected is the same, And that your priests respected our culture as he did. And the Eden we wanted to build would be everywhere. You sp Does anyone wish to add anything? I understand your doubts about the future that will inevitably be caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as Saint Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet he revealed what he knew, and his words still guide Teleme today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. After careful consideration, I have decided that it is my duty to reveal your discoveries to the world. It will take years for our theologians to study all of this, but our dogma must follow the path opened by Saint Matthias. Thank you, Your Eminence. I would be delighted to help with the study of these relics. I don't doubt it, my dear. And I would like you to take me to see this cave. I look forward to worshipping at the place where our holy founder ended his days. As for you, Your Excellency, I thank you for the help you have given us. Your sincere insight has encouraged me to make this difficult decision. It was my pleasure. Let me also thank you, Your Excellency. Without you, we would still be in the shadows. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sarde, what can I do for you? We managed to dismantle the Ordo Luminis's camp, Your Eminence. 
And while we were there, we gathered proof of their exactions. Demetrius, you will have to answer for the actions of your order on this island. Your Eminence, I assure you that... Enough! There will be an investigation. I hope that I will not discover that you were involved in this matter. In any case, you will have to explain your inability to control your own men. But please, continue, Your Excellency. The guards served you well, and bravely followed your orders. They will be thanked and rewarded for it. But it is to you, Your Excellency, that I express my deepest gratitude. Without your intervention, Teleme as a whole would have appeared as a monster in the eyes of the Islanders. It was my pleasure, Mother Cardinal.
closer. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to have a rummage. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep. May the enlightened always keep you in this divine blessing. What do you seek? I have come to tell you that we have taken care of the Inquisitors, and set the camp's prisoners free. You thought we weren't capable of fighting the Soul Lasser and of freeing our people? That's not it. I thought it was my duty to inform the woman who represents Teleme here of the situation. She's the commander of the Soul Lasser. And she was furious when she heard about their actions. She made a point of punishing them herself, and of having your people set free as a token of good faith. I understand. She's proven a respectable queen. And you have proven an ally. 
I thank you for your help on all Manawi. From now on, you have our gratitude and our trust. From this day forward, you are a garant of our clan. Anything more? I need to be going. Wow, well, I'm sick. <laughs>